Hello everybody, it's Chef Laura, the owner of Laura's Gourmet Granola. I am here to share a recipe today which will make your summer dessert table look and taste delicious. Not the table itself, of course, just what's on it. We're going to make a peach crisp or a peach crumb or a peach crumble, depending on where you are in the country. But we are going to feature Laura's Gourmet Granola Sinful Cinnamon Crunch. Sinful Cinnamon Crunch is one of our newer flavors. It has just the right balance of cinnamon, agave, and of just a little bit of vanilla as well. And it's that granola for even the people who don't think they like granola, but we know better, don't we? So what you're going to need is the following, just by way of preparation. You'll need some ramekins, and preferably you should spray that with a little bit of cooking spray just so we don't have too much stickage because you want to enjoy what you ate, but you don't want to relive it when you're washing dishes later. You'll also need about two large peaches that are going to be peeled and then you're going to either medium dice or chop them. So whatever is easiest for you. This is going to, you know, it'll probably make about two to three depending on how big your ramekins are. Or you can also make this as one bigger dessert because, you know, go big or go home, right? The other items you'll need will be vanilla bean paste. And if you don't have vanilla bean paste, then you can also use vanilla extract and it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So our, uh, for this recipe, you're going to need about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. If you're going to substitute vanilla extract, about the same, as long as you're using a good quality vanilla extract. You'll need a little bit of organic blue agave nectar if you want to make this a vegan dessert. If you don't care and you want to sweeten it with honey, that's absolutely fine as well. But your ratios will change because agave is a little bit sweeter than honey. So in this case, I'm using just about a half a tablespoon of the agave nectar. Your substitution would be a one tablespoon of honey. The last thing, and maybe the most important thing, uh, as far as the liquids go, would be your amaretto. So you could use any type of amaretto you like, which is an almond liqueur. So you either pick what you already have, or perhaps you'll just need to go to the store. You don't need to buy a great big bottle. You can also buy them in that cute little bottle that makes you feel like you're setting up your own mini bar. Uh, in addition to that, what I have in the bowl is a uh, as about a tablespoon of cornstarch and the reason I am using cornstarch is because it's going to take all the liquid even the liquid that's going to come out of the peaches and it's going to help thicken it a little bit so I don't end up with this runny crisp cobbler crumble instead I'll have something that's going to have more of a saucy nature to it and we all need to be a little saucy when we're making dessert so first things first what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the cornstarch with the amaretto with my trusty whisk right here and just as a way of, um, of instruction when you do combine cornstarch with a liquid and that can be water it can be stock or what have you and you add it to a um, something that's on the stove that you want to thicken this is your one of your best thickening agents to use my suggestion is once you do that though to add just a little bit at a time it's called a slurry so in this case you could say we've made a slurry using the amaretto and the cornstarch together so now I'm going to add to that my agave nectar. It gets so quiet that this is the part where y'all wish I had some background music playing. And then we're also going to add, like I said, quarter teaspoon of our vanilla bean paste. Now the other thing I love about vanilla bean paste is that it has the flex of the pod uh, in the paste. So you will actually see little flecks of vanilla bean in the liquid, which is fantastic. Uh, I already added a little pinch of salt into this as well, so now I'm just going to mix up all of these ingredients together, and then I'm going to add to this my peaches. Now you might be wondering, where does this granola come in? Well, don't worry, we're going to get to that in a second. So I'm going to actually use this spoon just to go ahead and very gently Combine all of the peaches with the liquid that I just made in my bowl, okay? So you can see everything gets coated nice and evenly. And you can actually almost, it almost seems like the slurry or the cornstarch is making, is already doing its thing. Okay, so I have my ramekins here, so I'm going to evenly distribute this among all the ramekins. So let's see, that's one, two like three heaping tablespoons here. Let's see how many this makes. I'm gonna do the same thing here. 
Now, if you're wondering about the amaretto and the peaches, if you think about it, how many times have you had a dessert that was peaches and it also had almonds in it and how delicious that was. So that amaretto is going to give you that little bit of a liqueur flavor as well as it's going to give you the little bit of that almond flavor that we all love. Okay, so I am going to make three out of this. Now, this liquid is enough that if you actually had another peach and you wanted to make another ramekin, nothing is going to stop you. All right, this is where the granola comes in. Normally when you make a crisp or a cobbler or a crumble, you have to take oats and combine it with a little bit of flour potentially, and then also some sugar and some other items, toss that together, bake it on its own, and then attach it to what you're going to be putting it on top of. In our case, we don't have to do that because the Sinful Cinnamon Crunch is already all those ingredients plus plus made for you. So now you just need to take some of that granola and sprinkle that right on top. And by the way, we don't want to be shy. So let's go ahead and do, oh, that's good. I think a little bit more. So for each of these crisps, we're going to end up with probably about a quarter cup, which is equal to four tablespoons of granola and I'm excited because there's just enough left for me to nibble on while these are in the oven baking okay the last part of this recipe last part best part is that we just put this in the oven and we bake it for about 25 minutes at 350 degrees or if you're using a convection oven take your temperature down by 25 degrees and adjust your cooking time by about 10 percent so I'll be using my oven for 325 convection and it'll take about 20 minutes. At that point we're going to have an absolute yum deliciousness and I'll see you for dessert. So please give this recipe a try and make sure you comment and let us know what you think. Have a great day.